Hugo, back to league action this weekend with the visit of York City. How's training been this week? Well, it's Thursday today, um, so obviously we've been in this morning. Um, it's been good. Um, obviously, the lads that played Thursday, uh, Tuesday night, a little bit less because obviously they've had a slightly different timetable this week. But overall, yeah, it's been good this morning. So <clears throat> we're looking forward to the weekend now. Yeah, you mentioned Tuesday night there. It was a good run out for those lads, wasn't it? And I think it was always encouraging, isn't it? Because it's a, it's a real potential banana skin, those regional cup competitions. But, you know, 7-1 win, I think they dealt with it well, well didn't they? Yeah, like you say, these can be quite tricky, as we found out last year at Alton. Um, but to, to credit to the lads that went and, and the young players that come with us, you know, their attitude and enthusiasm towards the game was top notch and it showed in the performance. We, we did what, you know, I hope that we would do. So they're to be commended for that and there's some really good performances. Yeah, some opportunities for some of the lads that haven't had the minutes so far this season and, and as well in, in maybe AJ's case, someone that's been coming back from injury. Yes, yeah, so obviously AJ played, um, I think, 80-odd minutes at Boston. So we wanted to give him some more minutes on Tuesday. So that was really important for him, you know. But it was also, I think it was nice for players uh, like Billy Walsh, for example, yeah. and uh, Harry Thorpe, who got the starts as well, to play with those lads. And obviously the younger lads that come on as the game went on as well, they, they did themselves proud. So overall, a really, really good night's work that was. Yeah, you look at your Maxi Mullins, who again played that night, and um, maybe your George Milner Smith, your Ashat Pans, and, and we've got that pathway, isn't, haven't we? And, and do you think there was maybe some of the lads that played on Tuesday night from the B team that can go on to be like those guys? Without a doubt, you know, I think uh, all those lads that came with us, you know, they've showed us some training on Monday when they came in and, and prepared for the game and their application and their understanding of what was required for them on Tuesday night was spot on. So, yeah, look, we've always, we've, we've got a close link now with the B team, you know, and um, which is really important, like you say. So there will be opportunities, I hope, um, certainly for the lads to come in and train. And if they can push themselves a bit further and we'll, we'll encourage them to do that, then, then brilliant. Looking ahead to Saturday, it doesn't get any tougher, does it, when you come against the team that's top of the table? So it's going to be a challenging one, isn't it? But back in front of our own fans, you never know what can happen. Yeah, I mean, York are where they are because I, don't, I can't remember how many games they've played because they've been the most consistent, you know, and they've got some really, really good players. Hinch is a good manager, they're well coached. So we're, we're fully aware of the task that's in front of us. But like you said, we play at the EBB. We love playing at the EBB. The support we get, regardless of, of what the outcome is, the support's been like brilliant, you know. So I'm hoping that will continue. I think the supporters have to realise as well that and understand that the part that they really do play. When that noise comes out of the, the East Bank, it really, really does help because when we go away from home, uh, one of the players said it to me recently as well, he said, when we were away at home, especially in bigger stadiums, as it were, he goes, it always feels like the home end's like, it's hard because it feels like the home end's sucking the ball into the goal. And, and that's exactly what the, uh, the East Bank can be like. So I hope they come out in their numbers and they, they continue to sing about the team for the 90 minutes. Looking at the last three games, it's perhaps not been the, the results we'd have wanted to get from those games. But when you have two tough away away fixtures like we have done and we come away unbeaten in those two, mm. two draws, then there are positives to build on from that. Well, there? first and foremost, any, any point away from home is a great point. You know, I know the gaffers mentioned it before, but Paul Cook last year, I remember when we, we played Chesterfield at home, they had just drawn away at Maidenhead. And a lot of people thought, well, Chesterfield should be winning there. And he went, why? He goes, and he was so happy with the point there. And he would have been happy in the point that day, despite them getting the late goal. But it's, it's not easy. You know, there's a lot of quality and there's some great teams in this division. And winning a game of football is not easy, you know. And um, away from home lately, two points from those two games. Yeah, it's great. I mean, away at, at Ebbsfleet, you know, we played really, really well. Um, probably a little less so at Boston. But when you're not playing well on the day and you take a point home with you, brilliant, you know. So... Yeah, look, we're, we're happy where we are. Obviously, we want to win every game, but, you know, that's not always possible. And you're allowed to have off days. And, um, but when you do, as long as you come away with something, which we did on Saturday, then, then that's all good.